Hi, my name's Rowan and welcome to the first in the series of BioPharma. You understand that science has the same variable rate reinforcement scheme as gambling? I'm here in Boston at the Biomarker Research Initiatives in Mass Spectrometry Center, also known as the BRIMS Center. The driver behind the center is Biomarker Research, pushing mass spectrometry from benchside to bedside. We're going to speak to Dave Saracino, who is head of Biomarker Research at the BRIMS Center, and find out a little bit more about the work that they're doing. So Dave, thank you very much for having me here. Um, I was wondering if you could tell me a little bit about um, how you ended up here at the BRIM Center. Well, the BRIM Center has been, a, been around since 2004, and it was originally brought forth to promote research in biomarkers. I had heard that the BRIMS was switching towards a more clinical focus, and I thought that this was an excellent opportunity to come here and help develop products specifically for this need. Um, what would you say has been the biggest thing that the BRIMS Center has helped to bring to market? What we've done is to promote full solutions. People who would be starting from scratch now can go and find and say, I want that software package with that mass spec, with this LC, with that column, with this pre prep one of our key software programs for quantification, TraceFinder and now has an entire proteomics uh, module built into it. And I think that that bit of a helping hand is that extra added value with going with the Thermo Fisher Scientific brand. One of the things that you're working on then, bridging the gap between um, the, the sort of putative biomarker discovery sort of phase to moving that on through to the mass spectrometry for, quant for quantitation. You know, when we're doing digests, we, we can use triples. And we, you know, for certain purposes, the triple quads are the instrument to do these assays on. But when I want to do a top-down routine variant analysis, where I have a protein that may be 20 or 30 kilodaltons, well, that's something that's geared more towards the, the Q-Exactive uh, HF or Q-Exactive Plus line of instrumentation. Where do you see um, the work that's going on here at the BRIMS Center fitting into things such as um, companion diagnostics? we have a, a large array of affinity consumables right now. And now we can say the bridge between, we have a very, it's a very short bridge, we're not very far apart. We have the Thermo Scientific Smart Digest Kits, which will greatly accelerate any, any of these discovery to, to uh, diagnostic acid. So what, is there a project that you're focusing on at the moment specifically? Uh, we are putting our Thermo Scientific Vanquish system to the ultimate test by running 1,200 patient samples. And we're looking at roughly two to 3,000 proteins per sample quantitatively. It was not something that was ever gonna happen without the thermoscientific uh, acclaim C18-120 columns, um, the Vanquish platform with its extremely precise gradients. And I would rather find any problems and really iron out any wrinkles in the workflows so that our customers don't have to. One final, what makes you get out of bed every day? I need to see if it worked, probably because I have a habit. It's called science, you know, and um, it's a terrible way to think about it. Hi, my name's Rowan. Welcome to BioPharma. I think I'll have a drink. BioPharma is all about bringing you the latest news and insights from the pharmaceutical and biopharmaceutical industry.